Hi everyone, Carrie here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing great today. So today I have like the fourth video that I'm gonna be uploading this week and I cannot believe that I had the chance to upload as many builds as I'm doing right now, but uh, please don't get used to this because I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep up the pace with uh, like the amount of videos that I've been doing this week. But I just wanted to share with you guys this build that I'm doing in Mount Komorebi. This is actually part of my save file as well and I really wanted to build something like this because because the since we got the for rent expansion pack I really wanted to have like a rental place in here uh, it was kind of the idea that I had already before we got the pack but I just was thinking that maybe we would never have a chance to do something like this so right now that we do have the chance I decided to build this and this is actually for one of the families that already live in Mount Kamarebi this is for the Nishidake family I'm sorry if I'm butchering the names I don't speak uh, Japanese properly so I don't know uh, how to say uh, many of the names but this is for this family it's actually for the two grandparents and the granddaughter that live in this um world like and they originally live in this lot as well so i decided to bulldoze their house and actually build a residential rental place in here and they are gonna be the ones that actually run this place so they are going to be the landlords and i don't know if you say it like that but yeah they're gonna be the landlords and everything in here so they already have two tenants living in the two upper floors of this house because they live in the first floor so yeah i was thinking that maybe the grandparent like the granddad uh, i don't know his name but he's the one that actually runs this place uh, because uh, his wife actually has a job and the granddaughter goes to school so i thought that would be like a nice change for this family and they can get a little bit more of money <laughs> so yeah i actually uh, made sure that they can actually like um uh, just charge as much as they need uh for them to have like a proper a proper um business uh out of this rental place like this residential rental and the inspiration picture that i use this time is actually like this kind of um 3d prints or something like this like a drawing that i found on pinterest that i really really liked and yeah I, if i find that i'm gonna be keep uh, putting in here on the screen so you can see it i changed it a little bit but i wanted to keep it pretty much the same as the inspo pic because i really liked it and i'm not so good at this uh, kind of japanese asian inspired builds and of course i wanted to use a lot of the new expansion pack as well so there's a lot of items from that pack in here so you can see now that we're using using this kind of shading situation like the shaders and stuff i don't know the name of those th those things i know that i know them but i don't remember them <laughs> but yeah this house ends up having three floors so the bottom one is where the family is gonna live and it has two bedrooms two bathrooms and the other two floors uh, are for the tenants and uh, there are only one bedroom one bathroom places but they are all fully functional they have their own kitchens and dining and living spaces they all have their bathrooms and their bedrooms and i also added a laundry area and also the kind of um water heater and the electric box as well from the pack so you will have actual gameplay in there and i added uh, laundry machines and stuff like that in here so you can have like an area for your tenants to actually go and do some laundry I added these mailboxes in here because when I was building this uh, house, I was thinking that maybe the entryway was this door that we got with the for rent expansion pack, that it was gonna be like the main entrance to the build. It ends up not being that one and you will see when we get to that part because I thought that maybe they would have like a hallway and uh, with staircases and they would go up and to every floor so they would have like a proper entryway, but it ends up being really weird, but I still really like it. So you will see when we get to that part, but that door that I added in there is actually the one that goes to the laundry area and also to the um like where the water heater and the electric box are so yeah of course i'm gonna be adding these planters from the debug menu because they're beautiful i love them i think they're so so nice and i'm gonna be overusing them so yeah uh, stay tuned because for rent is actually one of the packs that i'm gonna be using the most i'm pretty sure because the items are just so beautiful i really like them and that door that i added in there i actually really like it I think I'm gonna be using it more often, mostly in community lots and stuff like that, because it looks like a door that would go to, like be a part of a community lot, or I don't know, I, you know that, I don't know that much about um, East Asian um, 
architecture and stuff but this is going to be like the uh, front door for the family's apartment or house or i don't know this is this should be an apartment right i don't know but that's the uh, front door the front door on the second floor is the one that you can see right now in front of the pool and the front door of the third apartment is gonna be this one in the balcony and you will see that we're gonna be adding a staircase to go up there and still ends up looking really nice i think um when i decorated this apartment oh it's not that tour it's the other one like it's in the like hidden in the corner okay but when i was decorating this house or this apartment situation here i wasn't sure how i was gonna make my the sims go to the third floor i didn't consider that part so i had to add the staircase in there i think it ends up looking really nice anyway so i kept it in there and all three of the apartments actually have their own um um ac so it's really nice to have like temperature controls and stuff like that in the different apartments and i love the gameplay that uh this item actually brings so yeah we're in the interior of the first apartment so this is for the nishidake family they have an open kitchen i didn't go all the way with the traditional japanese layout for these apartments because i didn't have enough space to do that so the bathrooms don't have like a separation for the toilets and um the kitchens are open and yeah they do have like a proper entryway in this apartment but not on the other ones so yeah i didn't go all the way with the traditional japanese uh, culture like um um architecture and decorations in here but i kept like the vibes that i was trying to achieve and of course i had to mix and match with the new items as well because that was something that i really wanted to use so yeah i'm so happy that we got more um like asian inspired items in the game i think they're really nice i think they help a lot and yeah of course they're gonna have a kotatsu table in here and they have a kotatsu table in all the three apartments as well so yeah that was kind of the um I know that the tables like these tables are supposed to be used during winter but I thought it would be nice to have them here to keep like the um, vibe of the apartments so that's what I did and the this apartment is the only one that has like the six seater one and the other ones have the smaller one like the four seater one because I couldn't fit them in uh, like a bigger one in the other apartments the other two are, are way smaller than this one and yeah this is the living area you can see that I'm combining with the other items from the for rent expansion pack as well keeping the vibes as I said and I really really like it I think um I think it every, everything makes sense in here and everything is play tested so everything works it's functional and if you download the save file once I have the chance to upload it of course uh, you will see that they already have two tenants living in here and I thought that I set these apartments to be like they can have pets living in here they can have like a community what's the name of that like they can have community events or something like that so they can host their own parties but they cannot make any noises and everything has to be clean i still haven't memorized the name of the categories but i know that there are five of them when you play with this expansion pack and they i only activated three of them so maybe they cannot have ghosts as well and i don't know what else but i kept everything really clean really neat everything looks really really nice i think so the there's no mold going on in here. Um, I'm actually working on another build that originally was, was supposed to be a pool, like uh, like um, set as a pool in the game because we didn't have residential rental lots, but uh, that one is going to be a little bit uh, less neat and less um, clean than everything that I've been working on so far. So yeah, that's going to be, that's going to have mold for sure. <laughs> But yeah, these ones, I wanted to keep them really clean and nice and, I don't know, pristine if I could. But yeah, uh, this is the main bedroom. So this is for the grandparents and there's not that much going on in here because it's just a simple bedroom. I didn't want to overclutter it. I think I wanted to keep like the vibes of the Japanese style in here a little bit more. So there's a lot of snowy escape and also for rent going on in this build. Those are the two main packs that I used but of course I didn't restrict myself because this is for my save file so I just went crazy with everything that I had and decided to not restrict myself so you can see that the toilet in here is from snowy escape the uh, mirror as well 
and uh, the bathrooms, uh, all of them have pretty much the same appliances and the same, um, like, everything. <laughs> the layout is the only thing that changes. And this is the bedroom for the granddaughter. I, I think her name is Kaori. So this is her bedroom and I'm pretty sure that she's into snowboarding and she's more active and stuff like that. But I wanted to use these curtains that you're going to hate me when you see this. But I used this curtain rub that we got with the um, Desert Luxe kit because I couldn't find the one that came with this pack. I wasn't sure that we had like we got exactly one. But then I used it in another bedroom and then I realized that uh, it was a thing. So we had it. So I replaced it, but you won't see it on camera. You will see it on the screenshots only. So yeah, I, uh, I actually based everything in this bedroom out of the curtains because the green with that pink is really, really nice. And also the bed that we got with Snow Escape, I really wanted to use that one. So those three are the main colors that we're gonna see in this bedroom, the green, pink, and purple. And I think it ends up looking really nice. This is a bigger bedroom and she has a space to meditate. So I added the meditations tool in here. She's gonna have a mirror as well and all of the meditation stuff. Um, because I thought that maybe she was into sports, so maybe she could do some meditation as well. And I know I read her likes, uh, like her um, traits and stuff like that, but I just completely forgot about them. And I don't have everything open in here to see um, what her traits are. But I know I remember that she's into snowboarding and all of the like sports that we got with Snow Escape. So that's what I kept here in mind, but I didn't want to like. Um, use them as decoration or anything like that so this is the laundry area slash like um, this room with the water heater and stuff so I divided it now and I'm gonna be adding the washing machines and the drying machines as well in here and this room like the tiny one with the water heater is gonna be part of the main unit so it's not not a shared space but yes, this part, like the laundry area, that's going to be a shared space. So your sims and also your uh, tenants can come in here and um, just do their laundry. And I actually made sure that I had a um, laundry basket in every single one of the apartments. So maybe you won't see me adding them in the video. I think you're going to see me adding only one. But I did make sure that everyone has their own um laundry basket so you can actually do laundry and play with the laundry machines if you want and this is gonna be like a shared space um i just added a chair in here and these plants and i'm gonna be adding a rocking chair as well from the horse ranch expansion pack and we're moving now to the second apartment so yeah i use the same appliances in here i just changed the fridge i thought that maybe uh when your sims actually moved into this place they had to bring I like a fridge <laughs> but the stove and the sink and the counters are pretty much the same the layout is a little bit different because none of these apartments are gonna have the same layout so in here I wanted to use that shelf that we got with for rent that I think it's beautiful I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be over overusing it a lot as well the living space is in here I struggle I struggled a lot trying to find the proper couch for this living room in particular so I had to cut that out of the video because it took me forever to figure it out and I didn't want this video to be too long so yeah you can see that we're playing with the curtains I don't keep these ones I change them and I'm gonna be trying to find the right place to use the curtains that we got with for rent because I don't think I can use them as much as I would like to, but I'm trying my best. So we're going with these ones from the Desert Lux kit that are still one of the most beautiful curtains that we have gotten in the game so far. And yeah, this apartment is a little bit more colorful. It has more patterns. I use this rug that I really, really liked. They're gonna have a TV from the um, Basement Treasures kit. And that's the same one that I'm going to be using on the other apartment as well and some decorations. But I didn't want to overclutter these places because I thought these were for rent. So maybe the tenants actually bring stuff when they move into this place. And uh, I don't know if you can do that. I don't know if that's something that actually your sims can do when they move into a place. Like if you play as a tenant, I don't know if you can bring stuff or buy more stuff for the apartments because I haven't done much gameplay. And the only gameplay that I've done is actually being a landlord. So I don't know if you can do that. But if you can, eh, you can do it <laughs> here as well. You can decorate as much as you want. Also, I set these apartments to be like uh, to have the same tenant for 10 days. So there's much uh, enough time, I think, for you to 
decorate and do stuff in here if you want i didn't add anything for pets because not always your tenants are gonna have pets so i thought that maybe if you decide to live in this apartment like rent one of these two units you can actually um bring your own stuff for your pets because i don't know um i actually didn't like create the layout uh, properly enough for you to have pets but you can do it i think you can do it you can make it work so here is the curtain rod that i couldn't find before uh but yeah now that i know that it is in there and that we actually got it i think it's because it's in a different category because this one and the one from the modern lux kit are both in the curtain category and the other one from the Desert Lux kit is actually in the wall decoration category. So it's really weird why they are not in the same category. And maybe that's why I couldn't find it before because I thought that it was gonna be in the wall decoration category, but it's not in there. So yeah, I found it. That's that's um, that's the main uh, goal in here that I found. <laughs> so yeah, we're in the third apartment now and I struggled a little bit with the kitchen and you will see it now because I wasn't sure how to do the layout and I thought like the, the kitchen was taking up too much space of this common area in here. I didn't want it to be too big and I end up changing the fridge for a mini fridge and that uh, like fixes everything. So this one actually has a mini fridge and this apartment has more stuff because they're gonna have this pot or I don't know what that is but we got it with the snowy escape and they're gonna have the um waffle maker and they're also I think they're gonna have oh they 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 don't they do have only those two things so they don't get the kettle either but they have more appliances than in the other apartments I think the one on the second floor actually doesn't have any appliances and the one on the first floor only has the pressure cooker so yeah they do have more things in here in the kitchen and I tried to use these curtains. I ended up uh, deleting them and using these ones from my first pet stuff, but not these ones in particular. You will see it on the screenshots. I replaced them for another one, so I made them work better. And yeah, the living area is a little bit smaller than the other one. It blocks a little bit of the uh, bedroom door, but your sims can still access the bedroom. So I didn't see a problem in that. And yeah, I just, we're doing some more decoration and i'm so really happy that uh, i had the chance to upload as many builds i know i mentioned it at the beginning of the video but i i don't know every time that i'm really um, struggling with time and i don't have as much time as i would have loved to have for building for some reason i build more i don't know how i do it i think it's really weird but my time management just works better when i'm running out of time i don't know it's really really weird but i i'm so glad that i had the chance to upload all of these videos we're still gonna have more content related to uh for rent because i have at least two other builds that are in the works already that i wanted to wait until we got this expansion pack to upload so one of them is this um this one that i mentioned that is gonna be a little bit more ran down and that's gonna be a motel uh in strangerville and I haven't built in Strangerville in a while and that's gonna be part of my safe file as well and I'm really excited for you guys to see it because it's a build that I've been working on for a while now. It was gonna be a pool originally. I'm so happy that it's not gonna be a pool and that's gonna work actually as I intended it to be. So yeah, I'm really excited. And the other one is actually a way bigger build so I think the video is gonna be a little bit longer than this one and I don't wanna talk a little bit too much about it because that's one of the biggest builds that I'm gonna be doing so far and I'm really excited and nervous about it because uh, I don't know I kept it like I, I kind of stopped working on it for a while because it was too massive for me at least maybe for some other people it's not gonna be that big but for me it's a massive build and um, I just like paused it for a while and now that we have the for rent expansion pack i'm gonna be working on it again so yeah stay tuned for that because i'm really really excited about that build but the other one is this motel in stranger field that i'm really excited about and yeah we're working on the community areas outside so they have this tiny pool and they're gonna have the lounge chairs in here from my wedding stories 
and um, some plans and some activities that they can do outside so your sims can actually spend more time outside so i added the games table in there and i'm adding the clothes lines in both the three floors actually no not only those two in the three floors but the other one for the first floor you won't see it because it's um i have added it off camera but you will see it on the screenshots and yeah your sims can do a lot of stuff in this uh build so i really hope you guys like it and that you decide to download it from the gallery and use it for your own gameplay so yeah we're actually gonna be wrapping this voiceover now if you like this build please like this video also comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also follow me on social media the links are all in the description down below and i'll talk to you guys in the next video enjoy the screenshots goodbye